what is going on everyone this is Nick here at NJ's Bricks and I'm bringing you something very different today and hopefully it's gonna be very fun we are gonna be looking at which actors have the most minifigure representations of characters that they've played now remember to like and subscribe below if you enjoy this content this is gonna be a cool one we're gonna start it out with actors that have two minifigures and go up from there until we finally get to the legendary mode shout out to Brickset. i copied off a list that they had from 2020 and built from there looking up minifigures from the last few years to match them up with their actors let's set some rules for how this list is going to work so we're using voice acting and screen acting they both count motion capture things of that nature are all on the table it is going to include minifigures from the lego movies but I am not going to include characters uh, that actors played simply on the Lego shows like Ninjago or Chima or Unikitty or any of those properties. It's not going to include multiple minifigure iterations of the same character. So for instance, there's like a million Luke Skywalkers. Those aren't all counting as one for Mark Hamill. He just gets Luke Skywalker, the film character, as one. But it will include multiple iterations of the same character if they are depicted in different media. For instance, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi from the films on live action and Obi-Wan Kenobi in the animated series. That would count as two different characters playing him in that instance. I will almost certainly have some errors in this list. Either some minifigures that I had oversight on and didn't get all the minifigures for a certain actor or perhaps I've showed the wrong picture of a minifigure be sure to let me know down in the comments below every single time that I make an error in this video we're all just trying to get better every day I'm also going to use some brick built characters and some Duplo characters and some friends figures as well let's get right down to it we're gonna start off on beginner mode. beginner mode is simply they have played two characters from the same IP. So this happens a lot in animation. You'll see a voice actor might play multiple characters in the same show. Those characters might have their own minifigures. So we're gonna start off with beginner mode, two characters from the same IP. First we have Dave Filoni, the current shepherd of uh, Star Wars television. He is Embo from The Clone Wars and C-110P, otherwise known as Chopper from Star Wars Rebels. Moving on, we have Jennifer Hale, continuing with Star Wars. Satil Shan from Star Wars The Old Republic and Ayla Secura from The Clone Wars as well. Then we have Tom Kane. He is the voice of Yoda on The Clone Wars and Senate Commando Captain Jay Fon from The Clone Wars. You're going to see The Clone Wars showing up a ton on this list because Lego made a bajillion gazillion Clone Wars minifigures. Like everyone that showed up on screen pretty much got a minifigure. If you were on Clone Wars and you didn't get a minifigure, that's just a bad beat. Continuing on in the Star Wars universe, we have Ray Stevenson, rest in peace, Balin Skull from Ahsoka, and Gar Saxon from the Clone Wars and Rebels. Then we have Kenny Baker, R2-D2, episodes 1 through 6, and also is one of the Ewoks, Paplu, in episode 6. Terry Notary, he is Teenage Groot in uh, Infinity War and Endgame on set. He does the motion capture and also the mocap for Call Obsidian in the same films, the big burly guy up there. Pat Roach, this is a throwback here from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Pat Roach played the airplane mechanic and also what is listed as Temple Guard 2 on the Lego minifigure page. The, these characters are actually German mechanic and the chief guard if you go to the IMDB, but Pat, Pat Roach, old school wrestler, couple of minifigures from Raiders. Moving on in beginner mode, we have Chris Miller. He voices Chocolate Bar and Plantimal, both from The Lego Movie 2. Margot Rubin does the voice of Harley Quinn from Lego Movie 2. Susan from Lego Movie 2. And Melissa Sturm, two characters from the first Lego Movie, Gail the Construction Worker and Ma Cop. That's going to do the end of beginner mode. We're going to move up to our most populated zone here. This is easy mode two characters from different IP here, level two. We're gonna start off again with actors that are in Star Wars films or properties. So we'll start with Benicio Del Toro. Benicio is a DJ the Code Breaker from episode eight. And Benicio also plays the Collector from the MCU. I believe this minifig here was like a Comic-Con exclusive. Definitely a sought after figure. 
Laura Dern, Vice Admiral Holdo, also from Episode 8. She plays Dr. Ellie Sattler in the Jurassic Park franchise. So that's a throwback, although she does appear in the new films as well. Of course, here, the legend, Harrison Ford. Somehow he hasn't, you know, found his way to another minifigure, although that could change as he takes over the role of Thunderbolt Ross. But he's got Han Solo, of course. He's got a billion Han Solo minifigures. And Indiana Jones, two of the oldest IP-related Lego sets in existence right there. Harrison Ford is an OG of the Lego minifigure landscape. Then we have Sir Christopher Lee. He plays Count Dooku, of course, in the Star Wars prequels, and Saruman the White in the Lord of the Rings films. Two pretty legendary characters right there for Sir Christopher Lee. Continuing on with more Star Wars characters, we have Lupita Nyong'o. She does the motion capture and voicing for Maz Kanata in uh, The Force Awakens, Episode 7, and also, of course, plays Nakia in the MCU, The Black Panther, and subsequent films. Continuing on in the Star Wars, plus an additional character category here in easy mode, we have Pedro Pascal, The Mandalorian slash Din Djarin, of course, and also Maxwell Lord from Wonder Woman 1984. We have Karan Shah, who is Tito in Star Wars The Force Awakens, and the Goblin Scribe from The Hobbit. Steve Bloom, of course, the voice of Garazeb Aurelios from Star Wars Rebels, and uh, Beetle from Ultimate Spider-Man. Then we have Matt Lanter, of course. For many people, this is their Anakin from The Clone Wars, and also Venom from Ultimate Spider-Man. Then we have Kevin Michael Richardson, the voice of Jace Malcolm from Star Wars The Old Republic, and also the voice of Shredder from the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Then we have Billy D. Williams, Lando Calrissian, of course, from the OG trilogy, and then Two-Face from the Lego Batman movie. We have Ming-Na Wen, who has a figure now as Fennec Shand from The Mandalorian and subsequent shows, and Mulan, of course, the voice of Mulan from the original Disney film. Then we have Rosario Dawson, Ahsoka Tano, who also first shows up in The Mandalorian and continues on in subsequent shows. Also voicing Barbara Gordon from the Lego Batman movie. Then we have Natalie Portman here, Padme Amidala, and then Mighty Thor, uh, her own minifigure from the fourth Thor film. David Tennant gets himself on the list with a Professor Hu Yang minifigure and also has a minifigure for the Mad-Eye Moody transformation. It's uh, technically um, a Brendan Gleeson minifigure, but it has the hair and a separate face printing that make it David Tennant. So that's actually a sweet minifigure. You get the Gleason Tennant combo. And then we have Helena Bonham Carter next. Of course, Bellatrix Lestrange from the Harry Potter franchise also appears as Red Harrington in The Lone Ranger. Then we have some more Harry Potter connections with Ezra Miller, Credence Barebone from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and of course the uh, much maligned Flash from the DCU. Continuing on, Gary Oldman as Sirius Black from uh, starting in Prisoner of Azkaban and playing in subsequent films. And he also has a figure as Commissioner James Gordon for the Christopher Nolan trilogy of Batman films. David Thewlis appearing in the same film. He is Ramus Lupin in Prisoner of Azkaban and subsequent films and also as Ares in Justice League. Ray Fiennes, continuing with Harry Potter, is Lord Voldemort, of course and also Alfred Pennyworth in the Lego Batman movie. Toby Jones has a minifigure as the voice of Dobby in the Harry Potter films, going all the way back to Chamber of Secrets, and now a figure as Gunnar Eversall in Jurassic World. Real pity that we don't have an Arnim Zola figure. Next we have Robert Pattinson getting himself on the list with a new minifigure as Bruce Wayne, but also Cedric Diggory from... Uh, the Goblet of Fire, the fourth Harry Potter film. Colin Farrell also from The Batman and Harry Potter. He's got the Penguin minifigure and Percival Graves from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Going on with some more various Marvel-related characters, we've got Jeff Goldblum, of course Grandmaster in Thor Ragnarok, and also Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park franchise. Jake Gyllenhaal has a minifigure as Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home. And excuse me for my pronunciation, I'm going to mess up some of these, but Dastan, I would guess, from Prince of Persia. Never seen it, never interacted with Prince of Persia. 
Chris Hemsworth, of course, Thor in the MCU, and also a minifigure now is Kevin Beckman from the new Ghostbusters films. We are continuing on with the sirs of the list and Sir Ben Kingsley with a minifigure as Trevor Slattery or the Mandarin from the MCU, of course, Iron Man 3, and then again in Shang-Chi. And he's also Nizam from Prince of Persia. We have Evangeline Lilly. She's Wasp in, of course, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania as well, of course, and Endgame, I believe, shows up. She's also Toriel from The Hobbit. And we have Lee Pace, legendary performance as Ronan the Accuser in the first Guardians of the Galaxy film. And uh, he's also got a minifigure as Thranduil, also from The Hobbit. Then we have Zendaya. She plays, of course, the MCU's version of MJ. And now gets on this list with a minifigure from the Dune film. I think it's pronounced Shani, I would guess. That could be completely wrong. I have not seen the movie yet. Then we have Josh Brolin, of course, Thanos in the MCU, and now also on the list thanks to Dune as Gurney Holick. I would have thought he would have a figure as Cable from Deadpool 2, but they didn't seem to do any figures from that movie, I guess. Sticking in the MCU still, Haley Steinfeld, of course, Kate Bishop from Hawkeye, Spider-Gwen in the Spider-Verse films, then we have Hugo Weaving, one of my favorite actors of all time, Agent Smith, of course, but he's got many figures as Red Skull in Captain America and Elrond from The Lord of the Rings. Then we have Chris Evans, Captain America, of course, in the MCU. Also now with a minifigure as Buzz Lightyear from the Lightyear films. Not the toy to Mel and Buzz Lightyear. I don't know if you're familiar with the whole thing. I never saw it. Then we have Christian Bale getting a minifigure as Gore in Thor Love and Thunder and having his own Batman minifigure from the Nolan trilogy. Zoe Saldana has minifigures as Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy and subsequent films in the MCU. Neytiri from Avatar. Jeffrey Wright with a couple of minifigs now new to the game of minifigures. He's got The Watcher doing the voice of The Watcher in Marvel's What If series. And Lieutenant James Gordon from The Batman. Christopher Daniel Barnes doing some voices. Electro on Ultimate Spider-Man. And original Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. Bryce Dallas Howard getting a Gwen Stacy minifigure in the Daily Bugle set, and Claire Deering from the Jurassic World franchise. Orlando Bloom, of course, a couple legendary characters from the early 2000s here. Will Turner from the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, Legolas from Lord of the Rings. Similarly, Lord of the Rings, we have Sean Astin having Samwise Gamgee minifigures and voicing Raphael from the 2012 TMNT series. We have Tony Shaloub, who is the voice of Luigi from the film Cars, and a Splinter from that same 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Army Hammer in The Lone Ranger is Lone Ranger, and Jackson Storm from Cars as well. Then we have a few actresses from Ghostbusters. We have Annie Potts, originally from the OG Ghostbusters, Janine Melnitz, also the voice of Bo Peep in the Toy Story franchise. Kristen Wiig is Aaron Gilbert in the newer films, and also Dr. Barbara Minerva or Cheetah in Wonder Woman 1984. Kate McKinnon is Jillian Holtzman in the newer movies and the voice of Stella from Angry Birds. Kicking on Angry Birds again, we have Josh Gad as the voice of Chuck, and then he is also the voice, of course, of Olaf from the Frozen films. Jason Momoa as Duncan Idaho from Dune, and Aquaman in the DCU. Zoe Kravitz getting minifigures as Selena Kyle, version of Catwoman from the Batman, and then also the voice of Catwoman from the Lego Batman movie. And then we have a few characters from some of the Lego sitcom base sets. Kunal Nayar as Raj Kuthrapali, excuse me if I messed up that pronunciation, but that's character from the Big Bang Theory. And we have Guy Diamond from Trolls World Tour. And we have Steve Carell with a minifigure as Michael Scott from The Office and Gru from uh, Despicable Me, although I think it's from Minions Rise of Gru, technically. Wayne Knight, of course, as Newman from Seinfeld and Dennis Nedry from Jurassic Park. That's going to do it for easy mode, and we're going to kick it out onto normal mode. All right, so now we're going to get into the territory of some voice actors that are very prolific within individual works. So this is normal mode, three characters 
that are from shared IP. At least two of the three characters are from the same IP. We'll kick it off with some Simpsons voice actors. Of course, we have Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Bart Simpson. Also voices Nelson Muntz and Ralph Wiggum from The Simpsons. Then Julie Kavner, the voice of Marge Simpson and both of her sisters, Patty, Selma, then we have some Lego movie appearances. Liam Knight is the voice of the heart and the star, as well as Sewer Baby from Lego Movie 2. Liam Neeson, the legendary Liam Neeson, is Bad Cop and Pa Cop from the Lego movies, and of course, Qui-Gon Jinn from Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. We'll continue on with some more Star Wars connections here. A lot of voice acting is turning up in this level. We have Silas Carson, Republic pilot in Episode 1, Newt Gunray in Episodes 1 through 3, and Kiata Mundi in Episode 2. Then we have Chris Parsons, K3PO, R3PO, 4LOM, doing uh, the internals of three different droids from the original trilogies. Then we have James Arnold Taylor, who does the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi in The Clone Wars, Plo Koon in The Clone Wars, and then Reiko Hardeen from The Clone Wars, which technically is Obi-Wan Kenobi undercover, but he does don like a face mask, and there's minifigure shows this different representation, so I'm choosing to count that. Then we have Steven Stanton, some more voices, Admiral Raddus from Rogue One, Grand Moff Tarkin in the Clone Wars and Rebels series, and Griff Halloran from Star Wars Resistance. Sam Witwer, of course, similar situation, the voice, of course, of Darth Maul across various Star Wars properties, and then also the voice of Galen Merrick from the Force Unleashed video game, the voice of the Imperial Transport Pilot from the Secrets of the Empire video game as well. Then we have Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself, also the voice of Bulio in Episode 9 and Trickster from the Justice League. Somehow his version of the Joker doesn't have a minifigure or perhaps an oversight by me. Let me know in the comments below. Then we have the Minions maestro himself. Pierre Coffin does the voice of Kevin, Stewart, and Bob from the Minions Rise of Groot film. And then both of his names have three syllables. It's Benedict Cumberbatch. He's the necromancer of Dol Guldur and Smaug in The Hobbit. And then Doctor Strange, of course, in the MCU. So that's going to do it for normal mode. We'll keep moving up the ladder next is intermediate mode. This is three characters from various IP. We're going to start getting into some real heavy hitters here. So first off, Taika YTT. Now has a minifigure as IG-11 from The Mandalorian, Mo Morrison from Lightyear, and Korg from Thor Ragnarok and subsequent films. Oscar Isaac showing up with Poe Dameron from Star Wars, Duke Leto Atreides from Dune, and this is technically the same characters, they have different personalities, Moon Knight, Mr. Knight, they have each got their own minifigure in one of the collectible series, but I can't count it as two different characters, because that'd be like saying Tony Stark and Iron Man as two different minifigures for Robert Downey, and that obviously doesn't work. Next we have Kate Blanchett, who is Arena Spalco from Indiana Jones, Galadriel from The Lord of the Rings, and Hela from Thor Ragnarok. One of my favorite molded pieces there is that headdress for Hela. Next we have some voice acting. It's Greg Sips, Sipes. Uh, not sure how to pronounce his last name there. I apologize, but we have Iron Fist from Ultimate Spider-Man, Michelangelo from the 2012 TMNT, and then Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go!, then we have Mae Whitman voicing Katara from Avatar The Last Airbender, April O'Neil from the 2012 TMNT show, and Batgirl from DC Superhero Girls. Next up we have Johnny Depp, of course, Jack Sparrow, Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean, Tonto in The Lone Ranger, and Gellert Grindelwald for a couple of Fantastic Beast films. Michael Keaton, one of my favorite MCU villains, The Vulture, Really awesome performance in Spider-Man Homecoming. And then, of course, Beetlejuice and Batman from the 1989 Tim Burton Batman film. Alfred Molina is next. He's Satipo, just a wee lad from the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Dr. Octopus, of course, in Spider-Man 2. And Sheik Amar from Prince of Persia. Again, I haven't seen Prince of Persia, so I'm not really familiar with those characters. And then, of course, we have Jason Isaacs. Lucius Malfoy in Harry Potter, an excellent performance. Uh, Siddeley from Cars 2, not sure if I said that right, not sure if I've seen Cars 2. And Grand Inquisitor from Star Wars Rebels. 
Also, the list on Brickset claimed that Leland Turbo, another Cars 2 character, existed in LEGO, but I wasn't able to find it on Bricklink. Maybe it's some type of brick built thing. I couldn't find what set it was. Let me know if you know about Leland Turbo from Cars 2, because that would bump Jason Isaacs up a tier, and I'm sure he would not be upset about that. It's a very prestigious list here, and you want to be uh, on as difficult a mode as you can be. That's going to wrap it up for the intermediate mode, and we're going to move on now to hard mode. This is when it gets real serious. This is four or more characters where some of them are sharing the same IP. We'll start with the Simpsons guys because they voice so many different characters in the same show. First, we have Hank Azaria, of course, Apu, comic book guy, Chief Wiggum, Professor Frank, and Snake five different characters from the simpsons then we have harry shearer also five characters with mr burns waylon smithers ned flanders scratchy and dr hibbert and then of course dan castellanetta he's homer simpson legendary grandpa simpson groundskeeper willie crusty the clown hans molman and itchy six different characters from the simpsons all having minifigures for Dan Castellaneta. Hard mode is littered with a bunch of Star Wars legends. So of course, John Favreau, alongside Dave Filoni, shepherding forth new Star Wars storytelling. He's the voice of Pre Vizsla from the Clone Wars, Paz Vizsla from the Mandalorian, Rio Durant from Solo, and of course, Happy Hogan in the MCU, filmed and appeared in the first Iron Man, and then on and on and on. Then we have Timura Morrison, of course, played Django Fett in the original prequels, would go on to play Boba Fett in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. Clone Troopers from Episodes 2 and 3, specifically also Clone Trooper Pilot Captain Jag and Clone Trooper Commander Gree, all portrayed by Timura Morrison. Then we have Matthew Wood. He voices General Grievous from The Clone Wars, also voices General Grievous from Episode 3. And I decided to include both of them because they both have their own minifigure and it's kind of two different media and you know what, I'm going to count it. He does the voices for the battle droids, voice of R0GR, also known as Roger, in Lego Star Wars The Freemaker Adventures. And then he also portrays Bib Fortuna, uh, shows up in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett on the new television shows. Some more Star Wars here, Corey Burton, the voice of Count Dooku in The Clone Wars. Cad Bane in the Clone Wars and again in Book of Boba Fett, Corey in the Freemaker Adventures, also Shahan Alama in the Clone Wars, and then has this Duplo figure of Captain Hook from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Never seen it, kid show of some kind, but they got some pretty dope Duplo figures for that set. Moving on, we have the legend, Warwick Davis. He is Wicket, of course, in Episode 6, then Wald in Episode 1, DDBD in Solo, Weasel in Solo, and of course Grip Hook and Professor Flitwick from the Harry Potter franchises. Then Tom Kenny, of course, SpongeBob SquarePants himself, also the voice of Gary, and then unbeknownst to me, the voices of Newt Gunray and Nadar Veb in the Clone Wars series. Also voices Dr. Octopus from the Ultimate Spider-Man series. And then we're going to close out hard mode with Andy Dwyer himself, the Crisp Rat. It is Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Owen Grady from Jurassic World. Emmett Burkowski from the Lego Movie. And then Rex Danger Vest from the Lego Movie 2. So that is the end of hard mode. We are getting into the upper echelons of this list. Extremely prestigious territory. It's pretty much like if you had the Baseball Hall of Fame and then you had a separate wing within the Baseball Hall of Fame that all the Hall of Famers voted the most elite members of the Hall of Fame to be in. That's where we're at. So, any hard mode. Four characters from all different IP. We're going to kick it off with something of a cheat if you believe in the Pixar is a shared universe series, but. I don't care, because it's the legend John Ratzenberger, of course, the voice of Ham from Toy Story, Mac from Cars, the Underminer from The Incredibles, and also a rebel officer in Star Wars Episode V, John Ratzenberger. Next up, we have Nick Fury himself, Mr. Samuel L. Jackson, with many figures as Fury in the MCU, Mace Windu from Star Wars, Ray Arnold from Jurassic Park, and Frozone from The Incredibles. That's a pretty sweet lineup of characters represented for Samuel L. Next, we have one of my favorite actors on the planet, Andy Serkis, one of the original mocap legends. Of course, Gollum on Lord of the Rings, Supreme Leader Snoke from Episode 8. 
He plays Ulysses Claw from Age of Ultron and Black Panther. And he also has a figure now as Alfred in The Batman. So that gets him on the four separate IP list, a very exclusive list here. Moving on to one of the only actors I like more than Andy Serkis, and that's Stellan Skarsgård. With the release of his Baron Vladimir Harkonnen figure from Dune, added to Luthen Rael from Andor, Bootstrap Bill from Pirates of the Caribbean 2, and Dr. Eric Selvig from the MCU, that gets him on the four separate IP Barry Hard Mode list. We're going to close it out with another legend. It is Clancy Brown. Of course, the voice of Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. He also does Savage Opress from The Clone Wars, Lex Luthor from Lego DC Superheroes, Dog Pound from TMNT 2012, and Taskmaster from Avengers Assemble. Finally, we're in the final tier here, the last category. Of course, what could come after Very Hard Mode, Legendary Mode. And it is officially titled Legendary Mode D. Bradley Baker Edition. Because D. Bradley Baker has 19 distinct characters that have been turned into minifigures. Now, I know some of you are saying this is unfair because D. Bradley Baker voices the clones in the animated properties, and there's a lot of clones. So, why should this one guy? get to count a billion different minifigures when they all have the same DNA. But if you watch any of these properties, you know that his ability to craft different personalities behind the variation of the clone voice is extremely impressive. It's a joy to watch. The Bad Batch, he's got five different guys he's talking to himself. D. Bradley Baker is a legend in the voice acting field, and these are all the different minifigures that he has. I may have even missed some. Let me know in the comments below if I did. From non-Star Wars, He's got Momo from Avatar The Last Airbender, TikTok Croc from Jake and the Neverland Pirates, and Sandman from Ultimate Spider-Man. Then, of course, he's got Clone Troopers, Captain Rex from The Clone Wars, Commander Cody, Commander Fox, Commander Gree, Commander Wolf, Sase Teen, Anaconda Far, Thysen, Commander Gregor in Rebels, Echo from the Bad Batch, Crosshair, Hunter, Tech, Wrecker, all from the Bad Batch, and Nubs from Young Jedi Avengers. I don't think anybody is ever going to catch D. Bradley Baker. Everyone else is a far cry away. Six is the next highest that I could find, so he's probably going to sit atop this mountain for a long time. Like and subscribe below if you enjoy this content. I would really appreciate it. Let me know if I made any mistakes in the video. Maybe I missed out on a minifigure. I'm sure there will be more figures released in the future and we can update this list.